How's it going, everybody? This is Mickey Manting, and look who I've got here with me. I've got Hi, Liz Allen, and this is Hi. an all about Liz Allen day. She is the amazing inspiration for the three troops that are going to be performing at the Folly Special Edition. And I'm going to turn it over to her because she's going to tell you about it. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you've already, if you haven't started doing suggestions as I've got up on the Facebook page, please go ahead and start doing it for us. Thanks. Thanks so much, Mickey. Hi, Vintage Improv Fest. Hi, everybody. My name is Liz. I'm so lucky to work with wonderful groups all around the, glo the globe, thanks to Zoom. So uh, today, this is the group you're going to see first is Polydactyls. We've been together since, um, gosh, May of 2020 online. And as a special treat, you can see the stickers that my son puts on the wall. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Polydactyls doing their thing. I, re I introduce you to them. And thanks for putting a suggestion in the chat. They're going to grab a suggestion and get rolling. So, well, guys, guess what? I don't see a suggestion in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if you want to do it real quick, go ahead and put it in there. If you're too shy, we'll give you a few more seconds. And then we're going to use uh, Liz's suggestion. Okay, but we'd love to get one from you all. <laughs> okay. Guys, pick one out. <laughs> The first one. Pie chart. Pie chart. Okay. This is clearly the shape of things to come, Jane. Absolutely. I, I can't believe we're all here finally. God help us. We're all here. We finally made it after all these years, you know, of, of talking online, we're, we're finally all together. So sc <laughs> I'm scared. No, it's the humanity. Yeah. Don't be so scared. It's the humanity. I we're mean, together. You're in your quadrant. I'm in my quadrant. I can't believe I'm talking to you all. I mean, there's no walls, but <laughs> there's walls. The solstice is coming, though. I can I can see see the sun start, you know. So we just have to be patient. Can I tell you guys something while we're yeah, yeah. yeah. We're my best friends? I've never known people as amazing as you guys, you know. I mean. Jim, you're just so brilliant. And Jill, you're just so fun. I mean, you just have the craziest ideas, like coming here in the middle of the night and waiting for the solstice. And, and Julie, my goodness, coming all the way from Italy to meet us here. You know, it just, it's so cool. I mean, you're so adventurous. So I, I'm actually, I'm hoping to see a druid. I wish a druid would just like, walk right in front of us right now, because that would be like my life goal if I could see a druid. Are there druids around here? Yeah. They say they sacrifice people way back in the day, but I think they're more friendly in the 21st century. It's true, oh. they sacrifice them. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I made a pie. <laughs> <laughs> you would make pies, you guys. Oh my god. Sherry pies, my favorite. Oh, oh god. Those are those are those are so sir. I don't think those are cherries. 
I, I think there are those, what are those things that, um, they're like the, they're little berries that grow on spruce things. Um, juniper berries? Juniper, <laughs> juniper berries. It's a, it's, it's, oh my God, so that's the first mistake I've ever made in my brilliant life. Oh. Oh. I think that yeah. you're being influenced. As, well, as long as it's not people pie, remember? We thought Drew is eight people. So as long as it's not people pie, I'll take juniper berries. It's, 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 there's, there's special powers in the juniper that you just don't know about yet. Edit. Warren. We're not meeting our numbers. Look at this pie chart. There's like, we're not meeting our numbers. We're 32.5% down from last year, 43% down from two years ago, and 1,675% down from 10 years ago. Exactly. It's a disaster. I wish I... Ugh, I don't know. Why do we start this business? We're just so, so... The I number... They're getting on our case. If we don't come to the 13 millionth decimal of pi, we are going to be out of business, guys. Out of business. Look, I'm less worried about that than just trying to find a way to blame it on you. It's always been like this. It has been. I know. But you had so many good ideas, but you were also there to pick up when the ideas failed. And that's what I liked working with about you. I really did. I... Grandpa told us that family probably shouldn't get into business together. Well, for a while it was great, but I think he was probably absolutely right because at the end, this is going to blow us all up. So why are we even here still? Well, I'll leave and claim that I was successful for the first few years and you can have the, the, the disaster now. Um, Mrs. Smith and, and Mr. Smith, um, Druid Realty, uh, I, this is your accountant and I just wanted to let you know that Druid Realty is actually doing really well here. Like, I know you thought you were failing on your numbers and your pie charts though were off. So you've actually made your numbers in triplicate and I wanna congratulate you for being the number one uh, home sales in the Midwest. It's just the best news. I just, my wildest dreams of coming true. I want to expand more. Yeah, you, you absolutely should do it. And, and I'm the accountant to take you there because I can fix any problems you have. I just move the decimal point over and then you know you're successful. So um, it's it's that simple. I believe, I believe all along that it was that simple. Yeah, it, it, it really is, Mrs. Smith. So I just want to thank you for your business. I hope you guys expand and I can't wait to move your numbers for you and make you the hit that you want to be. Cut to I'm cooking gonna... the books. <laughs> <laughs> they think those numbers are they're mutable. Everything is mutable. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I did a little apothecary magic. I put a little this and that, and all of a sudden they look great. <laughs> oh, some juniper berries. Oh, 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 that's the little trick from our... With vanilla extract. <laughs> oh, I love that, Oscar. Oh, you are a evil druid sorcerer. Those numbers are now going to, at least for the next month, look very, very positive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what happens to those fools when they realize the consequences of bad numbers. Wait, wait, guys, guys, is, is this really the choreography? I'm getting confused on what numbers go where. Is it one, three, three, four, five? 
five, six, seven, eight. Three point one four one five. Three point one four one five. Uh guys, I never was any good at maths, I have to tell you. Can we just do this? It's easier. That works. Guys, I, I was never really good at shapes. I, I gotta tell you, I, I don't get shapes. Hmm. Circle I, was very, I was never very good at cooking. I, I don't know if this is a pie shape, pie, what's in it? I don't know, but this is around like a juniper berry. Ah. And the circumference of the juniper berry is pie times nice. The diameter? Is that what it is? Yeah. Pi 2R? Yeah! Pi 2R. Pi 2R. R2. Emily. You know, I never was good at connecting with people, including you. So I found an accountant who might be able to help us. You did? Yeah, she's supposed to be really good. Okay, that's great, because I was trying to look at the numbers, and I just, I think we, like, misadded things, because, like, a thousand, thousand, thousand percent down, like, things just weren't adding up, so I'm really glad you did that. She's a little... Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late, but I'm here, and I have got your numbers covered, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I just... Again, can I thank you for your business with the accounting and all? And I can work magic with any books. So um, we, we heard it was magical what you can do. And, and I don't know how you do it, but it really is just incredible. Yep. Yep. This is Druid Accounting. And in Druid Accounting, we can move any numbers anywhere. So um, you give me the numbers and then I will work my Druid magic. Okay. And, and you know what? You're going to help our relationship too. Yes, absolutely. I, I, you know, when I can fix the numbers, then I remove the stress and, and you guys will get along so much better. I mean, look. We really can't fail here because our grandfather's going to be laughing at us at, in his grave. No, you've got the bottom line. Look, look, look at my new books that I'm giving you here. You, you've made a million dollars last year just by moving the decimal points. You made one million one hundred thousand one point one four one hundred and forty thousand dollars. That's what you've made, you know, with your yeah. So. Granddad's Mary. gonna smile. Yeah, Mary. I'm very really proud of you guys. Hey, Solstice, how's it going? I love my sunshine. Yeah, you look that. good. You're looking yeah. good. Hey, you know what's really cool about being a solstice? You get to see all those naked druids. <laughs> yeah. Who are you saying naked to? I'm dressed. I'm fully dressed. Uh, they're so clueless. They sip a little of that juniper berry shit. And next thing you know, they're, they got no clue with what's going on with reality. <laughs> Shoot them a little bit more, right? <laughs> You know, I mean, I've often envied you because um, I wanted to be the uh, the vernal equinox. Oh, wow. Out of sight. Man, take another look. She's blowing up over there. Oh, my God. They, they, they say it's even worse when they ferment the juniper berries. They, they, they call it mm -hmm. like the precursor to gin or something like that. Yeah, like... She's just, you know, I just, I don't know, out of mind. I, that's just out of sight. Wow. You just, you just love, you just love a spectacle. I think yeah. we should go for human sacrifice. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> you're just blowing my mind. <laughs> I knew we would have a connection. Death of a druid. So you're coming here from Italy, are you? Yeah. 
I want to learn the real secret of a pie. Okay. Um, purpose for visiting is, we don't have that category here at, at customs. Um, so I, when I, I finished college and uh, I was traveling through Europe on my own and I met these two guys from Portugal in Rome and they were like, they spoke English so well. I, they, you know, I, I thought they were Americans and I said, oh, are you guys like here in Rome for a while? And they go, yes. Do you know the movie where real Italians eat, eat, eat spaghetti with their hands? We're looking for the restaurant where real Italians eat spaghetti with their hands. And I spent three days with them while they searched unsuccessfully, but we had a lot of fun for those real Italians because nobody was eating spaghetti mm -hmm. with their hands. Now, also, that Italians don't have to throw their spaghetti on the wall. And if I may add, in Northern Italy, we've started eating spaghetti only mid 19th century before we ate risotto, just for the record. George? Okay, I, I have a problem with my pie chart. I put the one piece in cobalt, but it came out navy. Uh, let, let me swallow. I'll try to help you with that. <laughs> yeah. okay. I, I was in Italy last year and I learned to eat spaghetti like this. Uh, oh. your, your numbers are a little <laughs> off. I think you can fix the numbers if you, uh, I got a great accountant for you and, and she's good at doing shapes too. Uh. Okay, because I got I, I really wanted the colors to be pretty because I'm afraid my presentation's not going to, going to work. If you make it pretty, that's all people care about. They don't care about the substance. Dad, Dad, yeah. they, 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 they said finish up there. this appointment because there's another one coming soon. So don't take too much longer, okay, Dad? All right, I'll, I'll take care of it. So, so look, color, so, form over substance. That's the key. Just, just make them pretty. Uh, you, you've got some sauce all over your face. I, I can feel like I'm going to puke. I just oh, it's all down the front of me too. It's disgusting, isn't it? But that's how they do it in Italy. That's what I heard. Oh, this isn't blood. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's I swear it's not human blood that's dripping down. It's just sauce. It's it's awfully red sauce. I I, I uh, well. <sighs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to Stonehenge on the summer solstice. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to come to Stonehenge on the summer solstice, but you druids, if it's blood, what do I do? I'm, I, 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 guys, guys, I think I found a druid. <laughs> uh, the druid says that it's not blood, but I'm a little scared. Yes. Oh, wow. Look, a druid. Hi there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This isn't you and blood. It's, it's sauce. It's sauce. Yeah, all right. As long as you promise not to eat me or anything like that, you... Good. Mm. Good. I got the bag of juniper berries. I think if we just eat them, then we're protected. Ha <laughs> right, yeah, you fool. Go ahead, eat them. the juniper berries. <laughs> eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them. You know, when we were talking about shapes... Um, I always thought my interpersonal skills were not as good as they should have been. And um, I don't know if anybody else ever had this thought, but like, I think, sometimes I think we're just like these forms that walk around and we can never really connect with each other because we're all self-contained in these bodies. And it's not that much different sometimes than just being on Zoom because you can never actually get inside somebody else in a way that where you can truly understand what they're thinking. So poetic. I just want to get underneath your skin. Can we, can I do that? I mean, I love you so much. I, I just, I really want to get under your skin and touch you inside. Guys, <sighs> Emily, what shall we choose? I mean, number one, spaghetti, and in the end you have a pie. Number two, lasagna, 
and then you have soft rice asian style number three you have a lamb pie um british style and then you have a french tart what can we choose five minutes five minutes the second option did, did it we only have five, five minutes to choose I don't, that's not enough time to calculate the best option. Um, wait, but the second one, did you say there was pie or not? Or a pie-shaped object? Yeah, let's go for the pie, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to touch you. I want to touch you under the skin. I want to feel you. I want to be in person again. I want to breathe. I want to hold you. I want to say hello. I want to bake a pie and have everybody over. I want to taste your pie while oh. you're breathing on me as I'm eating it. Yeah, I want you to breathe on me while I can smell also the pie. I just want to feel the sun on my skin and know that everything's okay. I want to watch you. I want to be right there watching you bask in the sun on and solstice. This summer solstice, okay? This summer solstice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to eat a lot of spaghetti with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am a bon dessiné. It's a book with druids and romans. It's crazy. It's made by a Belgian guy, but really it enshrines whatever every European kid thinks about a druid. They have powers, superpowers, and the Romans, they are all crazy. <laughs> I am a full moon, but I'm getting smaller and smaller. And I don't know where I go until I disappear. I'm the sun that's going to bring you back and give you life and make everything go again and repeat for another beautiful day. I was sound that was trying to travel across the internet, but was muted. I am a sensory ganglion in your fingertip, waiting in this lonely space before connecting that can't be transmitted virtually, that has to be transmitted by touching. I'm the human being stuck alone in my home on Zoom for the last year wondering when all these pieces of the universe and all the sunrises and sunsets will bring us a day when we can all be together again. Same. Hey. Come on up, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you polydactyls and we're gonna hug. We're hugging each other so hard right now. <clears throat> so many hugs. <coughs> Excuse me. We're all choked up. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful work. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I couldn't be prouder of the polydactyls, a very unique group of people that blend together so harmoniously. And I feel so lucky to have been able to work or continue working with you guys for so long. Bye, everybody. Oh, do you want to introduce yourselves and where you're from? Introduce yourselves real quick. Where are you from? We got time? Mary Carol Doherty, Chicago. Great. Emily? Emily Tai from San Francisco. Susie? Susie Perkowitz from Chicago. Great, George. George Dockery from Chicago, thank you, Liz. You're welcome, Sylvia. 
Silvia Pistacchi from Northern Italy. How about that? Uh, Mickey, we all know Mickey. Mickey Manting from outside Boston. Bye, everybody. See you Thursday. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thank you. And we're going to be saying goodbye to this segment of uh, of the Folly Special Edition. Uh, thanks for tuning in. In about five minutes, we'll be starting our next show. Have a nice little break. And if you want to put some suggestions, I don't know if we'll pay any attention to them, but put some suggestions so that we can use them if we need to. Okay, I am going to be signing off. Bye-bye.